Hey, let's make a quick cup of joe and just realize the fact that Amazon Prime and Amazon Prime Day changed everything when it comes to EDC. Let me explain what I mean by that. So we all know Amazon Prime, the Jeff Bezos owned company. I think he also owns the Washington Post, super rich billionaire, all that good stuff. We've heard of them before. I'm pretty sure you all have bought something off of Amazon within the last week comment down below if you bought something off of amazon in the last week i would i'm curious to know how many folks have i'm guilty of that just bought a 20 inch by 30 inch picture frame for an engagement photo i just picked up some some packing tape just a bunch of random crap but here's the thing first off first point amazon prime itself the word prime what they did is they made a customer centric customer focused concept of delivery of shipping of returns of pricing i don't know what company before amazon and their decision to make something so customer centric i think that's why they're so incredibly successful they also you know they sell a lot of stuff online but before online you know kmart sold online and walmart sold online they didn't do a great you know, they weren't doing big numbers when they were doing it online, but they were selling online. But Amazon Prime, when they went to this customer centric way, that definitely was kind of like the main reason why they kind of had this wild success in regards to being able to sell stuff online so easily. Plus they have an incredible shipping network. So point number one, the creation of Amazon Prime, making it customer centric, making it customer focused. That's probably a big reason why they're doing so well in, in a lot of different variants. Number two, them making this Amazon Prime so, you know, so customer focused has forced other companies, you know, folks that do everyday carry, tech, you know, whatever, to be more customer focused and not necessarily just worried about getting distribution to their distributors and you having to go to like the REIs of the world and to Cabela's of the world and you just figure it out and wish for the best. And they're kind of getting away from that. Side note, I got my ears picked yesterday. Have you ever had your ears picked? I, it's like they're done at like Asian centered spas. Got my ears picked yesterday. A little Asian lady put on some, some glasses with a flashlight and hit a song bowl and rub some acupuncture across my face and Pick the excessive earwax out of my ears. Crazy experience. I can hear really good. Try it out. Ear picking. Ear picking. I don't. I don't think. I'm not. I'm not a medical doctor, and I just make sure you go to a spot that's certified in that stuff because you know they're getting near your eardrums. But back to the Amazon Prime. You know, it forced other companies to become more customer centric, more customer focused, versus just you know mainly 100% focusing on their distributors or whatever. You know, any of that type of stuff and it is slowly changing the industry. But you know what the biggest change is? I'm sitting here going through my emails on my little iPad right here and looking at for Amazon deals. And I just realized Amazon Prime Day has changed the way the world does their sales. You know, if you were a lonely company out there, maybe you did your sales when other people in your industry did their sales. For instance, if you sell cameras, Maybe you say, okay, we're Sony, let's do our sales. When Canon does theirs, maybe a week before Canon does theirs and we can try to be competitive, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna take a look at Lumix. We're gonna take a look at Fuji and we're gonna try to make sure we stay competitive. We're gonna do our sales at the same time. Or maybe you organically don't look at your competitors, but you just have certain times of the year, Christmas in July, or if you have an overstock of your items, that was kind of how you forced the way that you did your sales in the past. Amazon Prime Day has changed all of that. I'm getting so many emails from different companies who are asking to be a part of my Prime Day video, which I'll be doing here in a couple of days. Are you subscribed to the channel? You should be subscribed to the channel because uh, my Prime Day coverage is gonna be real life. It's not gonna just be stuff on Amazon Prime. It's gonna be some companies which are shifting their sales to try to mirror Amazon and their fantastic sales. They have changed everything. First off, they've done a couple of negative things as well, but we'll talk about the positives first. First, 
they've made it so that we are getting sales from companies who rarely do them, who don't do them very often, who want to just kind of center themselves around the opportunities that that Amazon presents by having these crazy sales. I mean, the numbers that they generate on Prime Days are crazy. And they, they've had Prime Days. Prime Days have been so incredibly successful that now they do Prime Day. And then I think they also do the big sale later on in the year, which I covered last year. And Amazon's making money hand over fist when it comes to these Prime Days. Companies are shifting their prices down. The algorithms are algorithming and they're figuring out all that type of stuff. And so, that doesn't mean it's all good though, because one negative that Amazon Prime, maybe not the Prime Day, but Prime itself has caused is Amazon itself has allowed the flooding of the market of samey type of stuff. And I'm not even just talking about from the same companies. You know, I did a video the other day when I talked about the Chinese makers the overseas knife makers are flooding the market with their knives, which it is a true statement. I think someone in, that, in one of those comments said, well, Buck has is, is 16 times the size of Civivi and they have more employees. And that wasn't the point of the video. The point of the video is, is that they're flooding the market. Buck is not putting out anywhere near the number of new models as we knife Civivi and Sincut, the trifecta, the, the same company putting out the same, you know, putting out similar products, just different blade steels. I have a we knife banter right here. I mean, they're pumping out stuff all the time, a fantastic knife, but that may not be a positive for you when you have companies that could just flood the market. If you're a small batch distributor, if you're a person that, you know, TKL's knives has been getting mentioned a lot in my comments. They don't seem like they're a big production company. Even Montana Knife Company is technically small batch. I mean, he's making Josh Smith and Brandon over there at Montana Knife Company is making knives on his land in Montana in like a facility that was built. It's not a large manufacturer, you know? And so the point being is Amazon has made it so that folks can flood the market sometimes with some uh, completely unneeded EDC items or just completely gimmicky and shitty EDC items. So that's, that's a kind of a negative. Uh, another negative of the Prime Day type stuff is, is they kind of got you buying stuff when you don't necessarily need it. Now, when I do my Amazon Prime videos, when I've done anything in the past, I always mention like, hey, I'm telling, I'm showing you this, but if you don't need it, don't freaking buy it. If you are a desk jockey, if you primarily are, maybe you're a stay-at-home dad, a stay-at-home mom, or whatever, and you don't have like an immediate need for this stuff, don't get caught in the FOMO. Don't get caught in the fear of missing out. And the next thing you know, you're spending your money on stuff that you absolutely do not need. It's not, it's not needed. But Amazon Prime Day, oh my God, they have made it so where you are, a lot of people are buying stuff that they absolutely do not need just because it's on sale. That's a disgusting thing to even think about that people can have the ability to just spend their money to be spending it. The, I mean, the economy's already crazy. Inflation, is it came down for the first time since 2020 last month, which is a good thing, but it's still high AF. You know, groceries still cost a lot, all that type of stuff. And now you're letting Amazon and their Prime Day specials draw you in to making purchases when you weren't ready to make them. That's not a good thing. So listen, they have changed the world in good ways and bad ways the way they make stuff more customer centric, delivery centric, shipping has been crazy. You know, I think, oh, I thought Obi had a great opportunity to smear themselves like Amazon and be the, the Amazon EDC. Then they, they shut down and closed their doors. They obviously couldn't make the distribution network work, but there is an opportunity for, I don't know, it's gonna be whatnot. I don't know if it's gonna be some other company. There's an opportunity for a gear focused website to pop up that is customer focused delivery focused easy returns returns if you know i got a box from amazon the other day that was missing a wire i just literally went and clicked in and said i'm missing a wire and returned it what other company is going to let you open up a package determine it's missing something scouts honor take your word and just send the shit back there's not a lot of them if there is a company if there's an opportunity for someone to come in with gear focused stuff, watches, 
wallets, you know, leather clip slips, leather goods, knives, multi tools, pry bars, handkerchiefs, pouches, backpacks, survival and prep stuff, all focused on that type of stuff. <clears throat> and just be focused on those widgets that I mentioned. There is room in this market to be incredibly successful using the blueprint that Amazon has laid out. Obviously, you would be a distributor of everyone else's OEM products because you're not going to be selling your own stuff. But the opportunity is there and it's because of Amazon Prime and their Prime Days. I'll be covering Prime Day. It is two days this year. I think it's what, the 14th? And as a matter of fact, let me just open the Amazon app. The Amazon app is, is heavily uh, advertising Prime Day, so I don't even need to worry about that. Yeah, there we go. The 16th and the 17th this year. I'm already starting to get my Prime Day stuff together, but the deals are coming. Civivi's having deals. The holster company that I use for my boomstick is having deals. You know, Vertex, I think Nutsack. We got deals directly on Amazon. People have all changed their, their sales technique and their, their sales dynamic because of Amazon. It's almost disgusting. Ugh, hooked on that shit. Pause. But it is what it is. Stay tuned for that. I'm about to finish this freaking Americano and get ready to do some actual work. It's Friday. Hopefully you ain't got a lot of shit to do, and we'll speak soon. I'll catch y'all later.